So today's topic is drilling didgeridoos versus split and hollow didgeridoos, also known as sandwich didgeridoos, which is the word I usually avoid because it's so incredibly unsexy. So I get asked about this drilling thing quite a lot because I've been making digits for around 20 years and I've been drilling them for a bit more than 10 years. And um, I want to discuss a few pros and cons of each uh, way. And um, first, I, when I first started, um, I started making digits from agave and they were also split and hollow. Uh, that's the way that you can do if you can if you have almost no tools you need a knife to split it and you can take almost a spoon to hollow it and it works and you're quite fast actually then you just rely that you have some source of epoxy um, but the real um, deal usually starts with hardwood digits and for that as well you need some very simple tools you need usually you can start with a chisel and a hammer with a mallet and you can um, progress to angle grinder uh, with a, that kind of a hollowing disc now uh, the bandsaw is a uh, the key component here because you either rely on sewing by hand or you have to invest at least a few hundreds otherwise the angle grinder and uh, uh, the disc will set you back maybe for 100 or maybe 200 euros so that's really one big advantage of sandwich making uh, another advantage is that you do not need you don't have a big learning curve. You just take the thing and um, you just have to take care that you do not damage, hurt yourself. And uh, you know, if you if you mess up the first digit, it's usually not such a big thing, and you never mess it up so badly that you can't use it. Um, so that's another big advantage of sandwich making, and. Another big advantage is that if you have a place in, in the ditch which is opening and then closing again, so if you have a, like a small cavity inside the ditch, it's easier to make um, with that kind of technique. Um, but there are also many disadvantages to this. But just to bear in mind, so the basic advantages are um, that it's simple, that it's cheap, uh, it's um, very straightforward in terms of application. The learning curve is 10 minutes. You do not mess up the instrument badly and so on. The advantages of drilling, uh, that's something that is quite unobvious to many people. First of all, you have incredible precision of what you want to do. So if you drill 30 millimeters, for example, inside the tube, you have exactly 30 millimeters, like it was done on a CNC. But at the same time, you don't have a joint. So not having a joint is always very sexy, you know, that the piece was always one piece and it never became two and then one again. Nobody that I know would say, you know, I would prefer a uh, ditch made of more pieces than of less pieces. And, and one is the, the least that you can have. The advantage is that when you're making a ditch which should be similar to a ditch you already know, and uh, you can then um, drill the model that you already know and then gradually re-drill it and you can still play from the mouthpiece and try the ditch and in this way 
you try many digits and you can feel if you need to tune it if it's too low you can drill the bell if you need to open it a bit more you drill ne near the mouthpiece and uh, that allows you to iterate this sound that you want and you don't have to get it from that one guess that you did before beforehand like when you're doing the split and hollow you basically have to know quite accurately what you're after with drilling you don't have to know that you can re-drill and that is the thing I use a lot and actually it's a bit um, how to say uh, it's a bit unfair that when you start and when you don't have really a good idea what a good instrument is or a certain specific good instrument you're usually doomed to the fact that you you have to do them by split and hollow and then when you learn a lot more because you never start by d drilling digits nobody starts drilling digits how to make their first dig and so then when you know much more then you already also get uh, the possibility to change your mind to re drill them and because you have more meat usually on the outside um, you can chisel later word later and you can get even even better dig because you can always iterate um, the thing uh, towards what is your des desired sound so that's a huge huge advantage of drilling digits um, drilling digits usually have a more beautiful bore so when you look inside of them this is just from a static point of view they have this beautiful circles and uh, the way w in which chisel works inside when you're chiseling with long chisels for me it's been always more, more aesthetic than the way the angle grinder works mm. Um, one big disadvantage of drilling is that it's much more expensive to make the drilling machine and then to uh, do it by split and hollow. So if split and hollow will cost you around a few hundreds, this will cost you around a few thousands minimum if we speak about a serious drilling rig because if you're drilling short and soft wood then you can make it almost out of agave without pretty much any drilling you know you, you can take just a spoon as we said just you need a longer spoon so that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about drilling wood that you can make a drill out of and drill soft wood and this kind of dr wood will m give you uh, much clearer sound, much stronger sound and so on, much more precise, much more articulate. So the disadvantage of drilling digits is that um, the learning curve is quite long, that you don't make mistakes and mistakes are usually expensive in the sense that many times you will have to throw the piece away because you just have a hole in the middle or sometimes maybe even after 30 centimeters of drilling um, so it took me it took us like one year um, to I would not say to master the drilling but to have a good sense of it and um, to know that when we are drilling it is highly unlikely that we will drill through the ditch, not at the end, but somewhere between one and the other end. So that is also quite a huge disadvantage of drilling digits. So all in all, I would recommend that you drill the digits if you are quite serious about making. And I know that many of you see it as a, as a very, very cool stuff something that separates uh, men from boys and in a way it is like this 
but the price of being separated is quite big it's not something that is easily done especially with really hard woods and if you don't have a total if your total knowledge of the Jeridus is not complementing the fact that you are drilling them and that you can iterate them and that you can bring them to the sound that you want then it doesn't make so much sense so it makes much more sense if you are um, already an experienced maker and player and you can use that knowledge to navigate the didgeridoo towards the desired direction and outcome your experience then will multiply tenfold or hundredfold because when you drill digits you try many digits in the process so I haven't made so many digits in terms of uh, total quantity but I have tried much much more because um, when I make one I try 50 or 10 at least and that makes a huge difference about how much you can learn from didgeridoo making because when you are making a split and hollow you usually just shorten the mouthpiece or the bell and there are very few other um, big changes that you can do um, and you still know that maybe you don't know so I will tell you that I feel if you're a player and uh, if you are if you want a good instrument the easiest way to get it is to buy it if you're dreaming about um, learning how to make it and then making it it's doable but it's not the easiest way um, so just bear that in mind and if you are um, motivated to try drilling the ditch I would recommend that uh, you take your time with it and uh, do not rush it and do not expect uh, good results uh, very quickly so in this way I tell you again just to spiral out and keep going another thing that I remembered which is a beautiful thing about it is that when you're drilling the ditch and when you're chiseling the ditch you always see everything from the instrument you always see the whole inside from the bell to mouthpiece or almost if the ditch is curved then maybe you don't see everything but almost everything and when you're hollowing it you don't see the form ever like in, in in total you only see parts of it like 40 centimeters that are just in front of you that you're hollowing and then you can step back and have a look at the half or then you can assemble and look um, but with drilling and chiseling digits the beautiful thing is this um, holistic uh, change that you do you always see everything and you always see how your change affects everything the whole the volumes inside and uh, that is one very important thing about ditch making that everything affects everything